Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, we'll be doing the review for this Wipro Smart Plug. And guys, if you've been following me about 2-3 weeks ago, I had actually posted a review about this Octor Smart uh, Plug and quite a few of you have liked it. But I even purchased this uh, Wipro Smart Plug and actually it's attached to this uh, air conditioner, Daikin air conditioner. And uh, in fact, I would say it is much better than this Octor Wi-Fi Smart Plug because what I felt was that the Wi-Fi range was much better on this one and also it has some additional functionality so let's have a closer look at the same so guys it comes in this one and as you can see it supports 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi band and this is a 16 amp uh, variant and works both with alexa and uh, google assistant and uh, this is the actual plug guys as you can see it has the wipro branding and we also have a physical button here uh, you actually don't need to use it but you do have it and this is a 16 amp plug that we are having and at the back uh, as you can see it says that maximum it can take about 4000 watts i've been actually using this with my 1.5 ton daikin ac and uh, been almost using it for a month and it's been uh, working perfectly fine so guys as you can see the ac is running but now let's look at the app that we have it's a wipro app that we have and let me just go back over here this is how it shows uh, the name of this is daikin ac so it just so if you click on this this shows i have actually a timer countdown timers you can have so that if i forget the ac will switch off automatically after some time so you can set up timers like this and you can also have schedules on this uh, particularly let's say you want to switch it on automatically at some time and switch it off automatically after some time you can do that i don't use schedules but you can do it for example if you connect to a geezer or something uh, that can be great and you can obviously switch it off <laughs> and yes the ac has switched off and if you look at it the ac has switched off now i'm just going to power it on uh, you can also use alexa to switch it on and uh, so with voice you can control and um, i mostly use it like that uh, but uh, here if you go to the electric uh, thing it also records actually how much power is being used or everything and it gives a graph for example i started using it from september 3rd and as you can see in a number of units every day it gives us a graph like this how much power consumption is actually happen happening so uh, this is actually nice and you get an idea how much power you are actually consuming uh, so gives you a graph like this uh, but one thing is that you can't segregate for example now it's attached to my ac if i just plug it into uh, another device uh, you don't get a new graph or anything like that it's just one graph for that and again in the whole of september as you can see i get an idea that this ac consumed about 48 uh, units of uh, power so that's what we have and over here as you can see in real time it also shows us the current voltage and even the power that is being pulled right now uh, the ac is in uh, uh, what's your timer the delay from my stabilizer when it switches on uh, if you notice over here uh, right now it's hardly pulling any power but uh, when the ac will switch on after about two minutes uh, you'll see that this increases so in real time you can see how much power is being consumed so i'll just wait for a minute and then we'll see so guys as you can see my ac has switched on and now on the app it gives me in real time how much power is being consumed as you can see it says 758 watts uh, of power is being consumed and also you can see the actual voltage so uh, not only it uh, stores all these stats but in real time also if you want to know what your appliance is consuming how much power you can know that with this app so again i feel it's a pretty good app i just feel that they should have added uh, an option of adding what they say if you want to use this plug with multiple devices here if they would have segregated it it would have been better but overall i would say i'm happy with the app and it works very well and uh, again it also works with alexa uh, i'm actually using it with alexa with voice integration let me show you that and uh, let me show you i'm just going to use the voice command to actually switch it off and switch it on for example uh, the name of this uh, product uh, is daikin ac that's what i have given so i have to just say alexa switch off daikin ac and as you can see it switched it off so you can control it by voice and we'll just switch it on again alexa switch on daikin ac and as you can see it gave us power so you can control it with voice 
So guys, I feel that this is a pretty good smart plug and I've been using with this AC for almost a month now. I've been working perfectly fine. Works great with Alexa integration also. So that's not a problem. And uh, it gives us that power stats also, which is actually nice. Uh, the only thing I do not like is that Wipro is an Indian company, but here on the box, it says that it is made in China. But apart from that, I feel yes, because of the better Wi-Fi range and uh, the power statistics, I feel it is better than the octor wi-fi plug at the same, same location this octor wi-fi plug was giving me some uh, network issues that is wi-fi was weak earlier my main router was here so it was not an issue but guys you know that recently i moved to geo route uh, geo fiber and that router is out outside about 25 feet from it so this was having some network issues but this uh, uh, what do you say Wipro one is not giving me any uh, Wi-Fi issues. So overall I feel uh, this is a good smart plug. I'll leave the link of Amazon. I purchased it from Amazon. So again check out that for more info. Anyways guys that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys.